The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 4, The Temptation of Jesus. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not pull the Lord your God to the test. Do not put the Lord your God to the test. That's important. Don't ever challenge God. Do not put the Lord your God to the test. I like that. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. Jesus begins to preach. When Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he returned to Galilee. Leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum, which was by the lake in the area of Zebuli and Nabatili, to fulfill what was said through the prophet Isaiah. Land of Zebulun and Zananani, the way to the sea along the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people living in darkness have seen a great light. Of those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. The calling of the first disciples. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father, preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus heals the sick. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. News about him spread all over Syria, and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon-possessed, the epileptics, and the, para, and the paraplegics, and he healed them. Large crowds from Galilee, the Dagapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the regions across the Jordan followed him. That was the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 4.